All right, so we're back in the shop that builds a bunch of a uh, bunch of crazy stuff. They put a a bunch of a bunch of components on vehicles. Like I don't even know what those are. Last week we were here with with Braden's setup, so that's his box right there. Today we've got Ethan. Hey, Thank you thanks. so much for being nice with me. You. Yeah, you too. Guys, this is a sweet setup. Oh yeah, just a uh, couple year collection. One yeah. thing leads to another. And uh, how long have you had this box? I've had this box for about six years now. Okay. And it's my uh, third, fourth upgrade to this one. Oh itself, no way. The size, at least. So what did you have before this? Almost identical, actually, but it had. Uh, it just, this was cut off of it. Oh, so it's so just it was, this it, over, essentially. It's like a double bank. Okay. Yeah, it's just a du two bay. And then you have a cart over there. Oh, yeah. I was lucky enough to find a matching cart. Oh, exact oh yeah. Exact same color. Because this has like the... Uh, like that's the, the uh, silver vein. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be tough to find a matching, oh, yeah. matching yeah. set there. Yeah, I'm looking at getting a hutch for it, too. And, uh, oh, yeah? Just, <laughs> the color alone is... But it's one of those things where it's nice, just because I like gloss. I love the way it looks. Yeah. But with the uh, silver vein, uh -huh. I, it's, it's, accidents happen. I drop tools. Oh, sure, yeah. smack off the side of it, and it just shows no scratches. So it's oh, really, yeah. really nice for that. I mean, yeah. it looks just like brand new. Like super durable type finish. Oh, yeah. So do you do the same type of work that, like, Braden uh, uh, does? Yeah, like so I do kind of everything a little bit. Okay. I do um, fabrication, um, some upholstery work. We uh, necessarily here, we don't do um, custom upfits anymore, but my tools are uh, essentially the amalgamation of kind of everything. Gotcha. So. Right um, on. Yeah, these like crazy. I didn't know that. Like, I knew like spinner type vans existed, but I didn't know that there's companies that actually put options on them like this. It's really cool. Oh yeah, we do everything. We do lifts, lowering kits, um, roof racks. Lowering kits? Oh, yeah, I've seen some lowering. No <laughs> <way. laughs> I haven't got a chance to do lowering kits myself yet, but they're pretty cool. Oh, I like cool. it. Yeah. And then, um, you know, showers, baths, Shower. uh, beds, kitchens, everything. So what did you do before this? Uh, did you do like automotive or anything? Water well drilling, and. Um, um, heavy diesel mechanics at the uh, mine site oh, out in Nevada. Man. And that was fresh out of high school, so. Jeez. But shortly after all those jobs, I kind of realized I don't want to be dirty all day. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have mud up to my <laughs> knees every day. And I was like, you know, this, this is a little nicer. Yeah. It's one of those things where not necessarily immediate satisfaction, but, you know, I might be driving to Walmart and uh, I see one of these driving around that I built. I'm like, yeah. hey, you know what? They're enjoying that. I like it. That's cool. It just makes you feel good. Right on. So the card I've had it for about two and a half years. Okay. Um, it was a uh, trade-in from someone else who uh, just got out of the business. Oh, and nice. it just happened. The Matco guy saw it, and he uh, gave me a call. He's like, hey, oh, I have nice. a box that might match yours exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so. cool. Looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like you keep some of your go-to sockets up top here. Yeah, these are my, mainly the uh, ones I use the most, and you might notice a lot of them are missing. Yeah. That's what happens when you let people borrow your tools. Oh, no. That happens no more. I've actually yeah. got a, a sign-out sheet over there. Oh, that's for, smart. <laughs> yeah, because it's, you know, people don't have everything. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things like, say, a rivet gun. Oh, you know? yeah. These are nice for um, doing pop rivets. You don't have to pull out the airline. Right. All that stuff. It makes, it so much, makes my life so much easier. Yeah. But not everybody has those. Right. So one person borrows it, another person borrows it, and at some point down the line, it just is missing. Oh, so. Yeah. That's the worst. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So as far as your sockets go, do you have a brand that you like to follow? Um, as far as sockets go, um, Impact Sockets, I kind of just stick with Harbor Freight for the most okay. part. Yeah. Or whatever's kind of a good deal because it's tools like this or like um, screwdrivers, basic stuff. It's really hard to mess up. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's, I don't necessarily need to go with the most expensive brand. I have a lot of times, uh -huh. but uh, after a while I kind of figured, you know, and they're all kind of kind of similar at this point anymore. A couple yeah. of years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, there was a big difference. Right. Anymore, not so much. Yeah, they've come a long way. Like I see oh, yeah. you got Doyle screwdrivers there on the... Yep, these That's actually cool. got these from Harbor Freight. Nice. And you know what? They've held up. I mean, I've put a pipe wrench around them to break some stuff loose, and yeah. they work. So <laughs> That's awesome. These ratchets. This one's kind of nice, just... Swivel, oh, hex head, yeah. all that stuff. That's, it has like the locking. Yep. Yeah, so you right. can lock it in any which position. I actually thought I broke it the other day. Oh no. Because it slides to the side and it just goes automatic. <laughs> I, he didn't tell me it did that, yeah. so I thought I completely <laughs> broke it. But this is actually one of my dad's ratchets. It's oh, that's cool. 
old, Is old, it? old. Yeah, I mean, it's actually Crescent brand. One of the uh, oldest tools I have, so really? I have a hard time getting rid of it. Sure. You know, or retiring okay. it. This is a snap-on soldering iron. And um, I don't actually use this one very much. Really? It's, I used, I got it for one thing, and it was um, doing plastic welding, because it comes with a bunch of tips oh, in the back. Oh, okay. So I needed a plastic welder right that second in the snap-on truck has to show up. <laughs> it's which, like, I got you. You know, it's like a bat signal. <laughs> right. and, I mean, which is, and it's, it's, it's a really great kit. I love it. It's just, I wish I would use it more. Yeah. So do you have another one that you... I actually do have another soldering things? iron kit. It's um, right here. Oh, yeah. the power probe one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I have the, the basic power probe. So is there a reason that you shoot for that one instead of... Oh, so this one actually got this one before that one. Oh, okay. It's this one was uh, in my other toolbox, which wasn't at the location I needed it at. Oh, gotcha. So I had to go buy one real quick. Huh. Um, this one, I got it because I was using the uh, electric one, the plug-in one. Oh, yeah. And I was working on a uh, 67 Mercury Cougar with uh -huh. a convertible top and everything yeah. and uh, doing a whole new wiring harness in it. You know, laying in a car is super awkward. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> lay, laying down over the door seal yeah. is super awkward. It hurts. Your back hurts, and you're trying to solder, and then you try to get up. And um, there was one time where I actually caught the wire for the uh, corded one, and it knocked it somewhere, and it ruined oh, a no. lot of my wire. So I was like, you know what? No more. Yeah. Done. They've <laughs> got to have a butane one, and they do. And this kit is just nice. it's perfect. I mean, it works well. On this side, I just have a couple of pry bars. I like how this has, like, a drop down for, like, the larger handles. Oh, yeah. So That's nice. cool. So you can just still so shut so your yep. lid. And I actually made this rack over here. Oh, what? Because I've seen a lot of people, they actually hang their tools on this side right here, and it yeah. goes, and when they do, it catches the lid oh, on that yeah. side. But uh, that's cool. I don't want to do that. It's a, it's a box. I spend a little bit of money on it. I don't want to bend the sides. Yeah. So, and what it goes into is it just, these handles can go on either side. Uh -huh. It just, it literally just goes into that. No way. That's cool. I like these trays. Like I've seen these a couple of times. Are they like, oh yeah. They seem like they held, you know, a decent amount of weight. They do. It's just um, my main thing is I have so many trays around everything right now. <laughs> and I got these because um, what I like to do on, on the uh, Snap-on trucks, Maco trucks is, you know, after a while you become good friends with the people. And uh, there was, for a while there I was doing a uh, what's your oldest tool on the truck thing. So I'd go through and I'd buy the oldest tool they had on the That's truck. That's cool, yeah. You know, it's, it's like, he's like, yeah, I've had this one since I started about eight years ago. And I'm like, oh, you can't get rid of it? And he's like, no, I can't. So, you know, uh, th these actually happen to be one of those things. Oh, no way. Huh. And uh, that's cool. I think it was actually off of a newer truck, but still. Yeah. You know, oldest tool. I try and yeah. cycle the inventory a little bit. And you can find some cool stuff that, you know, you might not have thought of before. Right, exactly. Like in this first drawer, all I have is just wrenches. Nice. This assortment of wrenches. They got all kinds of different wrenches in there. I see you have like uh, just basic Pittsburgh Yep. On there. So you keep the SAE and standard. Oh yeah. So oh, I keep cool. um, standard over here, SAE over here. There are some more wrenches I have around. These gotcha. are just the ones I use all the time. Awesome. And it's nice having these stubbies. Wow. Oh, those because are nice. These stubbies are also the uh, ratcheting ones as well. Yeah. And are they six point? Uh, they are. They yeah, are. six point. Okay. That's cool. Oh, yeah. They look like they're like a full set. Oh yeah. They're all complete sets. That's what I try and do anymore. Nice. It's like some of these sets, like if you notice the Pittsburgh ones, uh -huh. I've had these forever. That's the only reason I'm still here. Yeah. But it goes from 21, 22 to 25. Oh, gotcha. Drives me nuts. Cause you always need, <laughs> and this one doesn't even have an 18. Oh no. That's a barely common size. So <laughs> yeah. Like um, these are actually going to get cycled out and replaced with the ones that have all the numbers. Cause gotcha. I just, it, I don't like skipping numbers. Sure. Cause you always need that number that skips. Yeah. All my pliers and everything, for the most part, and medic. Actually, in one hammer, that's the only hammer I keep in this toolbox in general. Really? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's the go-to hammer. Oh, I love this, like the color, though. Oh, is this yeah, like I the titanium? It. That's cool. Yeah, I saw the color, and I'm like, you know what? That's the closest I'm going to get to matching the box. So. <laughs> yeah. Right and on, on the pliers, you can kind of see I gave up on matching anything. <laughs> I was like, you know what? It's just not worth yeah. it. A lot of the uh, small knickknacks and whatnot that you use okay. all the time, like these drill bits, which have been a lifesaver. Some of them have died, huh. just that's why there's some of them missing. Nordwolf, huh? Oh, yeah, it's these little stubby. They're actually made for a hardened steel. No way. And you wouldn't know, but um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know until you actually try it. Uh -huh. On some of the Ford Transits, we don't have any hair right now, but uh, the B-pillars on them, they are hardened steel. Oh. So the Sprinter Vans, they're not. You can just drill through them with a regular drill bit. Huh. But you try it on a Transit, and you're sitting there for about 10 minutes with a regular <laughs> drill bit, and you're like, what's happening? Like, what is back? Oh, yeah, the drill bit's <laughs> ruined. It's just not yeah. working. So I got these ones just because they got gotcha. to about five sixteenths, and oh, it's a lifesaver. Really, it's a real lifesaver. That's <laughs> awesome. 
bit wrenches. Oh, that's a cool set. Super handy. Comes with like a little mini socket wrench and everything. Yeah, and you can nice spin for like it. dash yep. work. And you can spin it on the back too. Use it all the time, that's especially cool. on dashboards. Yeah. Yeah. Like where they uh, have the bolts way up there in the windshield. Right. And you can't reach it, and you don't. You kind of wonder, you're like, am I supposed to take the windshield out to get to this? <laughs> Which I think you are. But this is kind of the bypass for that. For dually rear wheels, you need them. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then also, you, on some of these tools, you actually see some tape. Oh. Just let people know that they are mine. Yeah. Especially like. <laughs> You won't leave it anywhere. Oh yeah. yeah. We got random scrapers. Um, what's it called? TV cable connector finders, I guess is oh, what okay. I'm calling it. Yeah. So what it is, is you have these lights on here. So you plug this into the coax on the other side. Okay. If you're doing like uh, satellite dishes or whatnot. Okay. Or um, TV dishes, antennas. Uh -huh. You plug this into the one side, you plug this into the other side. Okay. You hit test and it'll actually, if there's a couple wires in there, you can do up to three or four colors. Press the test button, it'll actually light up to show you which wire goes to oh, which one of these. That's cool. So if it's a blue wire, it'll light up blue. Yeah, so you don't get them all mixed up and yep. stuff. That's which neat. is super nice because, you know, 40 feet of wire <laughs> yeah. is hard to chase. Sometimes yeah. you're like, I don't want to take down the entire ceiling right. for 30 feet. So it's just yeah. brutal. Like these stubbies with the Airstream, it's nice to take these and put these on one of the impact drills. Oh, okay. Just because, well, I'll show you real quick. With the uh, smaller drills like this, it's not as long oh, as a regular yeah, yeah. drill with the drill bit. Right. So you get a lot more control over it and how close you go in. Because on Airstreams, yeah. the main problem with them is they're all aluminum. Oh, okay. So if you go this way, this way, you scratch the side, <laughs> the whole panel has to be replaced. Oh, no. So it's an emergency. It's, it's, <laughs> you you got to pay attention, essentially. Oh, goodness. A lot, of these a lot of shops I've gone to have had different air type fittings. And once you kind of commit to one air fitting, you have all your tools on one thing. Uh -huh. like, I don't want to swap over. Uh -huh. So what I did was I just made an adapter oh, for nice. it so I can plug into whatever one, either the big one or the small one. Then I keep a bunch of different angle oh, okay. attachments yeah. as well. Just simple stuff. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This one is just a uh, panel roller. A panel roller. Huh? Oh yeah, so it goes on the end of one of these. And what it does is you tighten this Allen head up and then you can actually get some leverage to go and roll out small dents oh. or whatnot. Or um, I use it a lot on um, delamination. Okay. There are bubbles underneath. Yeah. Like um, in Ve down in Vegas, it got to like 120 something. Laminate on the sides of panels were just coming off. Oh. So it was kind of nice trying to get all the bubbles nice. out with it. That's cool. And I see you have like a flashlight here. The, is that a Milwaukee? Oh yeah, so this is one of the uh, Milwaukee flashlights. Okay. Is this your go-to uh, light or? This one is not my go-to light. The go-to light I actually keep on me. Oh, okay. And it's, I took one of the uh, rubber pads off and it actually found out it fits on Milwaukee too. I like this one more just because it's a, a white LED light. Okay. It's hard to see. Yeah. But uh, it has three modes. Nice. Actually, it doesn't look like it's on, but it is on. That little mode right there has got me, has made this light die so many times. Really? <laughs> I didn't realize it was on and you know, you put it back in your pocket. Right, yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> then you got this one, which is the more vanilla color. Oh, which gotcha. I'm not so much a fan of. It was my go-to light before I got this one. But this one also has the, uh, the pointer light on it too. Oh, that's cool. A lot of my Milwaukee tools. Oh, not all Milwaukee of them. guy. Yep. That's cool. Sticky drawers. So I've got the uh, half inch impact. Okay. The Milwaukee heat gun. Oh, how's that? Is that pretty nice? You know what? This, honestly, I gotta tell you, the, the, the first thing this was used for is uh, we had McDonald's fresh cookies. Oh, okay. And uh, they got cold. So I took this. We sat there with, it comes in those little Happy Meal boxes. We did a hole on the side of it and just put this in there to make it like an oven. And it works. It works for that oh, pretty well. Awesome. That sounds dangerous, but, oh, yeah. but awesome at well, the Well, you know what? Time. It was fresh baked cookies there when I needed them. So it actually, yeah. um, it actually works pretty good. The only thing, the only complaint I have about it is it's a little bit slow. Oh, is but it? it? I think that's expected with the battery power. Sure. You're not trying to drain all your power right then. Right, yeah. Then also some of these tools have this and I don't really know what this is supposed to go on. What? It's a little huh. hook side thing. Maybe like... It doesn't really fit on your pants very well like that. Huh. So I'm, I'm kind of lost. Interesting. As to what it goes on. I'm sure but, somebody will be screaming. Oh yeah, someone, <laughs> someone, yeah, someone's <laughs> telling me. <laughs> I'm not using it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but a um, little Milwaukee inverter goes on top of the batteries. What? That's cool. Oh yeah, I mean, I use it for, um, my laptops don't really last ever. No way. I so I'll take know. one of the five amp hour batteries and yeah. plug it into the bottom. Then you got the uh, USB-Cs. And the USB is on top no of here as well. Way. That's neat. Oh, yeah, I used the heck out of this thing. Yeah, oh, it's once got again. one of those things. Yeah, once again, it has another one of these. I don't know what it's <laughs> what for. That? Oh, you know what? Maybe, like, because this is, gets hot sometimes, and maybe you're supposed to, like, 
like so you don't have to put it back in the drawer. Oh, you can hang it over something or something. I maybe. imagine I, I've done that's that a couple times because I don't know what else to do with <laughs> yeah. it. You know, that's probably wrong, but I don't, I don't know. That's huh. So I see you got a couple like Matco. Oh yeah. So tools. the problem with I actually started out buying Matco tools. Did you? Not Milwaukee's. Uh, so the problem with that and this tool especially. This was actually one of my favorites. I'll really? never get rid of it. This is actually the third one of these I've had. Really? Yeah, it's um, warrantied them out a couple times huh. because we had one of them, and it was a ghost tool, essentially. You'd put it down, you're working on something, but all of a sudden, it would start spinning. Oh, what? Yeah, and it'd only spin when you got mad at something. <laughs> like, when we were working some, on something, like I was under a, on a water tank, oh, upside down, no. doing this, hitting my hand off of stuff, and I'm mad, and the tool would start spinning. Oh, so, it, no. so it was like, it was like talking crap yeah. to you. And it'd start spinning faster and faster, and you're sitting there, you're getting annoyed. Oh, you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, it, and it would be, it was weird. That's weird. That's actually one of the reasons I took all my batteries out of everything. Because you <laughs> wake up and all your batteries would be dead. I had to swap over to Milwaukee, actually. And some of these tools are going to be leaving the toolbox gotcha. after a while. Milwaukee angle, grind, or angle drill. Okay. Reciprocating saw. Oh, nice. Which I actually cut the, uh, everything off of it. Just because we use these. Uh, under the vans, they have some of the, uh, I don't know what it's actually called. It's like a silicone. It's like a covering for the frame so it doesn't rust. Oh, okay. I call it van butter. Go right under here, look right there, and you got some premium, premium van butter. Huh. So it's, <laughs> it's, good to be. Yeah, so and this is really the best tool to actually use to cut that off with, just oh, because okay. it gets, it vibrates, it gets right under there, it's like a blade. Nice. It's not super sharp, so it's gonna cut you, but it yeah. just gets under there That's without cool. actually damaging the metal underneath. Yeah. So how do you like these, like the Matco? Because I haven't seen very many people with the Matco ratchets. So that is awesome. Is I it? use it all the time. I mean, it's, I should like to call it the lightsaber. It looks <laughs> just like a yeah. lightsaber handle, essentially. It does. But uh, yeah, I mean, this thing, this, this actually is the only tool that I hate to get rid of. Really? The Matco as well. Yeah. Just, I mean, aside from the drill, but this one actually, it just, it just works. I mean, it's it, awesome. It's never let me down. And then this one is actually one of, it's more of a novelty tool. That's it's like, like a first gen. Yeah, one of the oldest snap-on tools they have. It's like a toy. It pretty much is. That's, I mean, I don't, I have, I've never really used it. Uh, like maybe once in the entire time I've had it. Yeah. But this is also one of the tools my dad had a That's while ago, cool. so it's oh, cool. hard to get rid of. Yeah. But man, it comes with this giant carrying case. Really? I mean, the case it comes with is bigger than the case that any of these other tools come with. <laughs> like, it's, it is the craziest thing. Oh, my gosh. Did your dad wrench professionally, or? He did not. My dad... I, it seems like he didn't even know how to touch a wrench. Oh, really? Yeah, my dad was, uh, was in the military, and then he was a police officer, and then he was a prison guard, and then he uh, brewed beer. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the only tools he ever used really was the tools for uh, brewing beer oh, and okay. everything. Right on. So uh, oh, that's cool. Like that was just one of the things he used small time there, yeah. doing stuff. We've got just battery storage. Oh yeah, you got a ton of batteries. Oh yeah, it's one of it, and I realize you can't put the batteries on the tool in here. Uh -huh. because it just takes up too much room. Sure, yeah. And then, yeah, you notice this says tire on it. This is one of my buddies. He uh, gave it to me while I was doing the uh, uh, airstreams down there. We had to do propane, oh. LP testing, propane testing. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's just a little quick little gauge. And then we got, here's a uh, thermometer, which is kind of nice. It has the, uh, you might not be able to see that, but it has the uh, eight dots oh, instead yeah, of the you one. See. Yeah, that's neat. Then I've got my amp clamp. No one of the tools I use all the time. Oh yeah, that's a sweet one because it comes with like a multimeter too. That's yep, cool. multimeter and clamp. It does it all in one. I mean, it, and that's the way to go. Trailer brake tester over here, or trailer pin tester, I guess is the correct word. So this plugs into the uh, to your truck or whatever you're towing uh, with. Oh okay. It'll actually tell you what lights work, what the brake power is off of it, and um, what there might be issues with. And then this is just a uh, voltmeter. Multimeter tester. It's a super expensive snap-on one. Yeah, that's like a kind of like a power probe thing. Sorry, right? sorry power probe. Right, that's okay, the yeah. right word. But it does multimeter and voltmeter testing nice. as well. Down here is more Milwaukee stuff continued essentially. I've got uh, Milwaukee palm sanders or random orbit sanders, jigsaws, polishers. Actually, I tried to use this polisher on my uh, headlights. Oh, really? And it works really, really well. Nice. For a week until I realized oh, no. my headlights have a hole in them. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> grinders and um, sawzalls as well. Okay. And then this is one of my extra torque wrenches. The only reason I have an extra torque wrench, more than one extra torque wrench, is uh, down in Vegas, one of my other torque wrenches, you'll see here in a minute, it got ran over. Oh no. Like, by one of the lot techs. I was going out to, on a trailer out in the drive to uh, put air in the tires. Uh -huh. 
and you know, cr check the torque on him. Sure. So I came out, maybe made it two feet, not even two feet outside the main door, put him down real quick, had to reach around the wall, grab my airline, and one of the lot techs came up and just ran right over it. Oh, and it was no. maybe two months old. No. So it's probably brand new and used it like six times. Oh, that's the worst. So, of course, I keep my Milwaukee vacuum over here. Oh, nice. Is that the M12 or M18? This is the uh, M18. Oh, okay. Does that suck, have good suction? Oh, you know what? It's great. Is it really? I use it all the time, and it comes with a couple of attachments on it as well. Like, I actually used this the other day to clean out. Uh, I bought a, a car from Wyoming that's been sitting for 27 years. Yeah. And uh, I, used it, I used it to clean out all the acorns in that oh, car. No. <laughs> for whatever reason, I thought there'd be rats in it. Uh-huh. No, squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> acorns, walnuts, everywhere. Wow. I mean, everywhere. And I, I have to go get a new filter for this now because it just smells like acorns <laughs> oh, and <no>. water. <laughs> it just drives me nuts. It's a little hard to see under here, but there's the, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy vac. Okay. So it's one of those things where it, you can pull fluid out and you can put fluid back in. Oh, nice. Yeah. Super nice because it has a bump, bike pump on it instead of having to worry about an air compressor. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's, I, I, I found out that um, you cannot max pressure while, while putting fluid back in. Because the only thing that happens, because you know, while you're pulling it out, you just sit there, you pipe, pipe, pump it up a whole bunch, as much as you can, right. you go do whatever else. Uh -huh. And it's done when you come back. Yeah, well putting fluid back in, the only thing holding it on is this little rubber fitting. <laughs> so the job was done, it was all nice. I didn't get coolant anywhere. Oh, nice. Um, I had to put fluid back in my power stroke. And I was doing that and I just, you know, wasn't thinking about it, just kept pumping, pumping, pumping. But all of a sudden, that little line shot off. No. And coolant shot everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, all over. No. I keep my old battery charger right here. Okay. Just because oh, it's... Oh, Schumacher. I bet that thing you know, pumps out a lot of power. It's one of those ones that it... I call it dumb dumb. Yeah. Just because the newer battery chargers, they, uh, they check for everything. They check uh, battery voltage. They mm. check for flow. They check this. If something's not right, they won't charge. Yeah. That doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you plug it in, you turn it on... It'll charge anything. Yeah. You can charge a potato with that. I mean, it, it just charges, which is nice because some yeah. of these batteries, you know, so like the lithiums, they, um, once they get so dead, they uh, go into a shutoff mode. Oh, okay. And they won't turn back on until they see like 12 or 13 volts. Oh, gotcha. So the new, the, the other battery chargers won't turn them on. Wow, they just man. won't do anything. Huh. So with that, I use that to jumpstart them huh. just to kind of wake them up real quick yeah. so they can actually charge. Huh. And then uh, right under it, you'll see... This is that is, like for like your shoes? Yeah, it is. You want to try it out? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, you do. All you do is just step right in there, step down. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> That's so cool. Makes it so nice when you're walking in like a brand new trailer or a brand yeah. new van. You don't want to get your shoes might be dirty from working in the shop. Yeah. Or stepping on the ground, whatnot. Gosh, I'd be doing that all day long. Just... Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's so much fun. <laughs> That's why there's about seventy-five of them in there. <laughs> <It's 'cause... laughs> Oh, you know. man. Now I feel bad I'm just wasting these, though. Oh, no. I do it all the time. <laughs> and every once in a while, my yeah. hands are dirty, and I'm like, oh, I got to do something real quick. Just have a hand in there. <laughs> you know? it's like... And it's just uh. fun. Battery tester here. It's one of the old ones. I'm actually planning on getting rid of it, even though it looks brand new still. Oh, are you? Yeah. It's just, I got digital ones that'll print out the reports now. Oh, gotcha. So it's, and I just, I just don't ever have a use for it. Yeah. The problem is the same as the heat gun. Super hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's incredibly hot. Like, you, it smells like it's burning every time you're using it. So it's, it's one of those things where I've been lucky enough to not burn the top of the box right. or any of the plastic here so far. Right here, my favorite thing. Yeah, I didn't know Bumbox made Matco. Oh, yeah. Like, they came with a collaboration. Cool. And then if you notice on top of here, I have <laughs> the micro one, too. That's cool. It's actually a necklace. Whoa. Wait, does the, that actually put sound out? Yeah. What? It's a little Bluetooth speaker. No really. way, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I saw it, and I was like, you know what? It was a Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> and then two weeks later, he had the, the larger one, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is a Christmas gift for everybody else in the shop. And that's I came awesome. with the microphone. No way. So I can sit there. That is sweet. My boss over there has a, has a megaphone over yeah. there, too. So every once in a while, you'll see you hear us yelling at each other from yeah. across the shop. <laughs> Welding helmets. Nice. It's always nice to have it. This actually matches my other welder somehow identically. Really? It, my other welder is a Cornwell welder too, which makes it even weirder. Really? It's a Matco helmet. Huh. Keeps my other flashlights. I, I try not to use that one too much because it's kind of bulky. Oh, okay. It doesn't fit in your pocket as well as, you know, like this one does. Right, Just yeah. Just quick and easy. This actually, I'm using, I had to get a new notepad right here because it was all full. This is oh. where I keep the uh, sign-out sheet. 
Oh, okay. Just for people that For are tools using, and stuff? Yep. Nice. Using tools. I mean, if it's one of those small tools, I don't really care. But if it's something like the rivet guns yeah. or the uh, staplers. Yeah. Like, let, yeah me see your, let me see your driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, I need this. Fingerprint, <laughs> scan it, everything. Uh, and then, so I saw that your surge protector has it's a snap-on? Oh, yeah. You know what? And it's weird. Oh, that's cool. It's so weird. Like, so uh, I was at a car dealer one day, and I saw him throwing it out. What? I, I don't know why they were throwing it out, but I was like, I've never seen one of those before. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> don't you dare throw that away. <laughs> I'm taking oh, that's it. That's cool. Wait, but it goes all the way down here? Yep. Holy cow. Yeah, so it makes it even weirder that they're getting rid of it. They were gotten rid yeah, of it. Yeah, that's like huge. Like, they, they replaced it with a Harbor Freight one, and I'm like, don't you do that. That's like $200 right, <laughs> right. there. <laughs> oh, man. Milwaukee fan. Cool. Only used in the summertime or in the wintertime for, um, we do heaters. Oh. And then every once in a while the heater might have, uh, might be smoking too much. Okay. So you'll try and blow the smoke outside as oh, best you okay, can, yeah. open one of these doors and kind of get it to there. Then I keep my Milwaukee, this is actually, I recommend the heck out of this, my yeah. uh, Milwaukee tire inflator. Yeah. You know, I was kind of skeptical on uh, battery powered inflators. Uh -huh. We've seen so many terrible ones. One of these vans is actually out there completely flat for oh, about really? a month and a half. I was hoping to get it up at yeah. least enough. So, but I set it to 45 foot pounds. I'll come back in like five minutes and it's actually at 45 foot pounds. <laughs> foot pounds. <laughs> 45 PSI. Oh, okay. Very impressed nice. with this and then the tire because the tire was completely flat yeah. for about a month and a half but it still held there. So Yeah, so I have the uh, like the M12 version yeah. of that and it works great. So I can imagine the M18 being oh, pretty yeah. awesome. It's so nice. A little leaf blower over here. Nice. I don't like using brooms. Oh. <laughs> but he's here. <laughs> Just get this out of there. Yeah. And you like, get on the floor. Blow and you this into his bay. Like. Yep. It's like, eh, it's not my problem. Uh, <laughs> I like this uh, this mat because Brayden had the same thing. Oh, yeah. And I actually use these for um, rebuilding small heaters. Okay. Because the we have the under seat heaters in these. So I'll just, you know, pull it up on here, tear it all apart. It's also nice because it doesn't scratch the heck out of your the top of your box. Oh, yeah. And it keeps it clean. And if you're using fluid or whatnot, it has a nice lip on it to keep fluid from going right. everywhere. Yeah. I cool. actually thought these were floor mats <laughs> for like cars on there. I'm like, I'm like on the mat coach up when I saw it, I'm like, man, that's a really, really specific thing to have on it here. I'm like, what is that for? A civic <laughs> on the back seat? <laughs> then he, you know, explained it to me and I'm like, right. oh I gotta have it. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Up in here, the first drawer we have, just more sockets and um, wrenches and everything. This is that torque wrench I was telling you that got crushed actually. Oh no. But they sent it back, it wasn't actually too bad. I oh, got it really? rebuilt and rechecked out. Oh nice. So it didn't like bend it or anything? It didn't. So we actually ran over the handle, which oh, the handle. is actually okay. kind of the worst part to run over. Because I thought it because the handle broke off and that's where all, oh, a lot of the internals are. Gotcha. That's where those beams end. So oh, I man. thought it was done for, but it was right. like a $130 fix, shipped out and everything. Then I've got the digital one, which is annoying. Huh. It just makes it, it just beeps. Oh yeah. All the time. <laughs> all the seen, time. I haven't seen anybody with the craftsman one. Is it pretty? It, oh yeah. It's just beeps, huh? Yep. So it's it's a digital type. Huh, yeah. So when you're uh, when you're cranking it down, it um it'll beep more and more and more as close as you get. <laughs> like, and it's no. just a solid beep. <laughs> and then uh, which is great for engines, not great for tires. Right. So <laughs> that's why I got the two different types. Gotcha. This is actually super cool. You see these on trailers all the time for getting bolts that are behind the axles. Oh yeah, that's smart. So the axle would be here. This would be here. You're not supposed to use a half inch impact on it, <laughs> but uh, I do sometimes. I probably just voided my warranty right there, but you know, <laughs> more sockets, more okay. sockets as well. The quarter inch. This is the only quarter inch that I have here actually. Okay. Just because I don't necessarily use them a whole lot. Yeah. yeah I like this purple. It's one of the larger wrenches. Actually, I only got this one just because I've really, it, it's the thinnest handled or the thinnest headed wrench. Oh, so really? On, yeah, on power strokes for the uh, tow hitch on the rear. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. you have to, it's a horrible, horrible angle. I mean, you have to set it like this. Uh -huh. And I had to get a stubby socket on here. A uh -huh. socket that's almost uh, just a little bit bigger than the uh, shank off of this. Yeah. And uh, you have to go in this angle. <laughs> and it's just brutal. And if you want to get bigger, have one of these super old Pittsburgh soccer sets okay. before they had the whole stigma, Harbor yeah. Freight stigma behind them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That thing is just old and <laughs> wobbly, but it works. Then in here, we've got the multicolored set. Yeah. And immediately, I'm sure everybody noticed, this is gone. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was left in a rush job. Oh, no. And the customer did not speak English, so. No. It was, it was just, and I've been trying to get one from the Cornwall truck. It's just, they're not in stock anymore, apparently. Oh, so. really? Then we got more pick oh, tools. That's a nice set. I like how it has, like, the, the long and the... The short. Oh yeah, I mean it's uh, cause my other one only had, came with four of them. This one comes with all of them. This is one of those things I saw on the Mac on the Snap-on truck. Oh nice. This little tiny hacksaw. Yeah. I don't know what I would ever use this for. That looks handy though. Oh yeah. 
That's one cool. Of the, it's just cool tools. Yeah. I'm a fan of, I'm like a, a child on the truck, you right. know? like a candy store. It's like, yeah. I, I kind of want that. I could use it for, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> yeah. I've also got the snap-on uh, feeler gauge set as well. You can pull one of these hundreds and hundreds of feeler gauges off. Mm -hmm. uh, before you use the most, you can just throw them on here. Yeah. So can you keep your common used ones on yep. there? Yeah. I like, I like the yellow. It's almost like a high-vis color. Oh, yeah, that yellow. I've only used two of these so far because with the yellow on them, I'm afraid to make them dirty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that's when it's kind of dirty. You know? Yeah, like wipe it off. These wrenches as well just go on the end of a socket wrench or a breaker bar. Yeah. And they're just kind of generic uh -huh. for whatever size nut you have. But you're starting to get into the more specific stuff. This is that wrench or that plier set I was talking about. Oh, that's nice. That's oh my gosh. I really only bought it for this. Yeah, like the hose. Well, this is pliers. actually, yeah, for hose clamps or this is actually great for, um, what's it called? Um, clips on like a, uh, Electrical connections, oh, okay, the ones that they have yeah. on both sides, yeah. where you can get around, you can actually clamp uh, on yeah. it on both sides and pull it out. So some That's of these sweet. voltage systems, they're in a very, very tight area. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice to be able to have like small fingers to get in there and just poke it down. Yeah, and I like they're like a black anodized kind of. Oh yeah, where they're not all know. chrome and shiny all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's nice. I love this pink. That's cool. Yeah, that was one of the. Like, you'll uh, never lose those. Oh yeah, Goodness. that's one of the breast cancer. Sets actually. Oh, okay, yeah. And it came with the uh, came with the blanket. Oh, I bought it for the blanket. That's it's not awesome. Blanket, but uh, oh, this comes with the adjustable. Yep. That's neat. That's got to be uh, super rare to like have pink. Huh. I don't think I don't think anybody else has them. That I don't I've seen. think so either. That's awesome. And this drawer is just a miscellaneous random stickers. Nice. The most important part of anything. Awesome. So this is like a power drawer then. Yep. And that's like the. That's cool. So I keep all the uh, just all my chargers in here as well. Yeah. And that's what I mean, just I'd like to have less chargers. Yeah. So I've got the Snap-on one, I've got two Matcos, because even though they look the same, they're different. This one is the 16-volt uh, and this one's a 12-volt. Oh, okay. And then a lot of people will say, you know, why not just have this one if this has the M12 on it too? Right. The problem is with the uh, bigger M12 batteries, the more amp power ones, the, uh, they don't fit and you can't close it. Oh, it on there. really? It just sits up a little too high. So this one sits lower. Oh, it does. That's good to know. Yep. It does because it kind of recessed in there, huh? Like I said, stickers, the most important thing of anything. Oh, yeah. Then I, I guess had, you don't have any stickers on your box. You know what? The silver vein texture also doesn't help with stickers. Oh, but also yeah. at the same time, I don't like putting stickers on the box. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. It's like it's you a know, pain to remove. Uh, so one thing on stickers, they have uh, like magnetic, it's like a magnetic sheet. You can yeah. buy like on eBay and you just cut it out and it has like adhesive on it you can stick on the magnet or on the stickers that's a good idea and then actually. you can just that way if you ever want to take them off remove yeah. them or whatever we'll just pull uh, them off and everything yeah below it we have some of the air tools okay which are just some things i use real quick like the air vacuum is that a pretty is, good suction you know what it's actually great it'll is suck it? up water the problem this is not waterproof or oh, water no. <laughs> so, <laughs> and this is actually one of those old tools as well it's a, uh, you take this end, the hose end, okay. you pour it into a bucket of whatever, uh -huh. and then you put this to air, and this will actually suck up everything with it. So it's like, uh, it could be used for solvent huh. or anything like that. So I is it like uh, like aerosol type spray, or is it just like to, to it's, transfer It's essentially like an aerosol type oh, spray. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah, huh. so it just, it just sprays, like pressurized spray. Really? So yeah, it's, it's interesting. it actually works out pretty well for cleaning solutions and everything. Huh. Just gonna get down to here. It's also where I'm running out of room for everything. This is the, uh, Matco battery checker, oh, which is nice. essentially the replacement for this load tester over here. Oh, gotcha, okay. So what it'll do is it t tells you, hook it up to an IR printer as well, uh -huh. wirelessly. It'll actually give you a little receipt. And oh, it'll tell nice. you yeah. what the battery's doing, what the voltage is at, what, if you need to replace it. It'll check charging systems, starting systems, and uh, just ambient systems as well. Nice. It tells you pretty much everything you need to know with four buttons. Awesome. So the worst kit in the world but it's absolutely necessary. A full tap and die skit. Oh, okay, yeah. The big boy, I mean, it, it has everything. I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't skip a size. Really? It doesn't do anything. Metric and standard. And then up here, it comes with the drill bits and the uh, screw extractors as well. Nice. For each size. Yeah. Over here, 
And you have your, like your own hardware store here. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, it's some of those things where it's like a lot. There's a lot of extra nuts and bolts for some of these kits, uh -huh. and it's hard for me to throw away stuff like that. And I had to put it in this drawer at the bottom because it's one of the only larger ones. Oh yeah. It had the uh, two, oh, two slots, slots on it yeah. as well. Plus, I mean, it's probably nice to have the weight on the bottom. Oh yeah. As opposed to like one of the top drawers or something. Oh yeah. And I'll also tell you what too, like I really love this Matco box. Yeah. And like I've had the Craftsman boxes and the Husky boxes and whatnot, but this is the only box I've ever had that like. I'm not afraid to sit here and have all this weight on the bottom of it. Oh, and then, right. you know, you can even oh, step gosh. inside and I'm not worried about it. Good. And I weigh 250, 250 pounds. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> you know, and it's still yeah. just slides yeah. like normal. That's awesome. Keep hammers. Cool. And I, I try and be very organized. You notice this is not a hammer. This is yeah. actually a Cornwell. <laughs> Uh, it's a hatchet, I guess. Nice. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this Cornwell, for whatever reason, has been coming out with weird stuff yeah. in their uh, magazines or their flyers. Uh -huh. The only thing this has ever been used on is a steak. <laughs> like, there was one day we were cooking steaks yeah. at the shop, and yeah. I was like, you know what? We gotta try it. Just <laughs> most, actually, a lot of these hammers are from my dad. Actually, pretty much every one except for these five in this hatchet. Okay. Like, I mean, this has been, I've been around these since I was like three or four years wow. old. Wow. This looks wild. Like this is actually one of the one I made in high school. Well, you made that? Yep. And it, That's cool. I mean, it's been with me forever. I mean, I used it, I made it as a body hammer. Whoa. So like this side would have, go behind like a body panel and flatten it out with this. Yeah. But after a while I realized it'd be better as an anything hammer. <laughs> then I mean, I've, I've used it. I call it the master key. It's another yeah. one of those main, because <laughs> there's yeah. nothing that hasn't opened yet. <laughs> Here's where I keep just a lot of the uh, miscellaneous extra stuff. Oh, okay. Files. I don't really know where to put files. Yeah. Tape, grinder bits, extra putty tape, more blades, staples. Oh, this, this cheese looking thing. It's another one of the oldest tools on the truck. It's, it's just a giant wedge. Huh. So if you need to wedge something up, wedge something down, it's one of those things, you know, he's not looking at it. I can't imagine having this thing, because it was right behind his desk, having yeah. this right in your face every <laughs> single day, and you're like, for years, you're like, I need to get rid of that. And oh my goodness. clamps galore Yeah, for uh, delamination and everything. Down in Vegas, you know, the heat, the laminate would just come right off. So what I'd do is we'd sit there and glue it. And on a door, like a door like that size, uh -huh. you know, you, you can't just use one clip right. if a delam's coming off. You gotta go over, clamp it, clamp it, clamp it, oh, clamp it, yeah, clamp it. Yeah. I keep stuff. stuff. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that just, I have no idea where to put. Yeah. You know, more stuff for the bump box up here, torch attachments, hood props. Uh, this is just for fluid, mini, a mini one of those, the oh, fluid gotcha. vectors. Yeah. Awesome. Which it worked great. Someone had it, I used it once. So that's my philosophy. If I used your tool more than once, I'm gonna go buy it. Yeah. Because yeah, it's absolutely. clearly something I'm gonna use. Yeah, something like that would be cool for like, uh, like a brake fluid reservoir if it gets too high or oh, yeah. like coolant reservoir or anything. Yeah, something, just something yeah. small real yeah. quick. More gloves. Oh, this is actually that tool I was talking about, the uh, Ways for cutting aluminum. Oh, Believe wow, it or not, actually, that? this goes on the end of the drill or an impact. Okay. And it's just impact scissors. Oh, wow. So, like, here, throw it on there. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. That's cool. To be honest, of all people, my mom got this for me. Really? Yeah, when I was That's using it awesome. for, because uh, I used to do insulation a lot. Yeah. And, uh, right, or rubber, sorry, not insulation, rubber floors. Oh, okay. When I was doing the rubber floors, this just made it so easy to go around yeah. instead of with a knife trying to cut it out and everything. And then actually a couple years later, I was at Airstream and uh, he's like, you know what? I think it was actually for metal. So oh, like, aluminum, wow. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. So we tried it on aluminum and it cut it like a dream. Wow. So that made doing the panels at Airstream so much nicer. Well, that's cool. Dog treats. Oh, nice. My dogs were here and they left these. I forgot <laughs> about those. Air hammers. Cool. Um, this is actually just a cheap old Harbor Freight little staple gun, which works phenomenally. Nice. I could do a lot of upholstery on uh, seats and everything. ATV seats, whatnot. That's cool. Just into the plastic underneath. Works great. These relics, essentially, because <laughs> they've been replaced with electric. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what, this one still has its place. Has more power than the, Mil the Milwaukee one. Yeah. But uh, the Milwaukee one usually does whatever you need it to do. Yeah. But when it doesn't, this thing comes in handy. Awesome. Then this little stubby one, which is a 3 8 inch. Yeah, that's super stubby. Oh, yeah. It's really, really nice. I like to get the uh, covers on these, too. That's because these are, these are actually heavy for what they are. So yeah. when they fall, they fall <laughs> straight on the head. And then electrical drawer, which is just a bunch of electrical miscellaneous. Okay. This is one of those cool things. This goes in a vise, and you can actually plug your impact into it Whoa. for clamping down um, like wires like one watt, two watt. Yeah. 
I actually used this for a job I had where a guy had me install 12 200 amp hour lithium batteries. Oh, wow. And about 300 foot of, yeah, <laughs> 300, nice. I'd say 300 feet, more like 300 yards Jeez. of a two watt wire when I had to do 75 different clamps on it. Oh my goodness. Soldering guns to, or soldering fingers, oh, essentially. Yeah. Cause soldering is one of those jobs where you need like four hands almost right. and this kind of takes care of that for you. Awesome. What time, a lot of times what I do is I'll take this off cause this is too long and it doesn't fit in places sometimes. Uh -huh. So I'll take this off and I'll just have it dangling like this, so it's a lot smaller. Oh, yeah. By so, like, itself. when you're in an engine bay or something? Yep. That's cool. Or, like, under a dash. Yeah. Fuse testers, a little Harbor Freight one. We use these a lot for um, when we're making the vans. When you had to uh, make your own circuits, mm -hmm. like if I'm putting a uh, fan in the van, then when not, I have to check the, uh, volt, have, check the amperage that's coming from the fuse block so I can put the right fuse in there. Oh, Just okay. to protect the circuit. Yeah, that makes sense. Then this is one of those Think Car tire pressure monitor. Oh, okay. Remarred. So you can actually relearn your tire pressure nice. monitors to the vehicle itself. Assortment of those little Wago connectors. I think they're gonna oh, okay, re yeah. replace buck connectors eventually too. So if you need to connect three wires into one, oh, nice. just open those up, yeah. throw them in there. And then you've got more hardened drill bits too. And then more just miscellaneous bits, okay. just in case any in there I don't have fit. And then this is something a lot of people don't have, a knife and scissor drawer. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen one before. Long knives from windows. Oh, wow. Getting in inside them. Just those, um, see how they have the glue in the window? Yeah. Just get alongside the window. Because some knives that are too short, uh -huh. you can't get that nice angle with it. Okay. This is so long that it kind of gets it closer to the window. Oh, that's smart, yeah. So, the orange scissors that everybody in the world has. Yeah. The scissors your mom used to use for yeah. everything. <laughs> she bought like the nice ones and then she catches you like yep. using them on something. Yep, oh my God. <laughs> well yeah. then, see, I got these ones. Oh, those are really nice. These are actually a gift from my mom as well. Whoa. For the, uh, this is only used for fabric. Okay. And that's it. Like yeah. When I was doing suede and uh, upholstery stuff for these. Gotcha. Because these are expensive and I don't want them to go dull. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, for most everything else, I mean, these are my brutal scissors I use for cutting whatever I see. Oh, gotcha. You know, it's like from wire to wood for whatever reason. <laughs> it's just like, I need to cut something now. Yeah. Use those. Some measuring tools. And there's some more clip tools as well. Cool. But uh, yeah, like it's been a long time since anybody's seen this. Is that like a plum? Yeah, plumb bob. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I've used it a couple of times, but it was one of those cool things from Harbor Freight. <laughs> I was like, you know what, this will, this will work. Yeah. Because a lot of times in some of these vans, trying to do stuff straight up and down, mm -hmm. is hard because they're not exactly straight up and down. Oh, these walls gotcha. are curved and right. everything like that. So I'm trying to find angles, yeah. trying to find what's centered, or one tire might be flatter than the other one, so it leans. Right, I so see, it's, yeah. it's like the best way i found to do that. Interesting. Then this is an angle finding tool. It's one of those oh, that's wild. weird, weird things. The measurements, I have no idea what they mean. <laughs> but if I'm trying to find an angle, yeah. I can get it. Interesting. Because they do a lot of welding and stuff too, so. Oh, okay. If I need to find something specifically. Huh. Tire pressure checker. Uh-huh. Which is, it's one of the nicer, I think Matco has one of the nicer ones. All the other ones are just kind of flimsy, oh, small, okay. cheap. This has got the nice head on it with the uh, on, light. Oh, yeah. You can change the units and everything too. Cool. Then, at the same time, I swap this out. So it's just oh, quick disconnect yeah. so I could put any one of those other ones on here yeah. at any point in time. Because sometimes you need to do it for like a dually. Yeah. Oh, that's genius. Else. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So huh. makes it so much easier. Then I've got miscellaneous drill bits that I've used before. You might have seen a couple of these in my toolbox, just random things taped together that look like pipes. Uh -huh. I use these as stoppers. It's like oh, you wow. put in the drill. Sometimes you don't want to go through that hole all the way because yeah. there's something on the other side. Huh. So it's nice to have something like this just yeah. so it's... You can kind of stop in time before you hit something right, like a gas yeah. tank. Yeah. We've done that before and it's not cheap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty much everything. Goodness. Oh, well, yeah. Ethan, hey, I, I really appreciate you spending the time to oh, go yeah. over all your tools with me. I do appreciate of course. it. Gosh. You take it easy. This is awesome, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I sure did. Till the next one. We'll see you.